High-speed hobby rotors can be extremely dangerous. Even small rotors can injure the user. These injuries can be grievous, including laceration, finger amputation, and vision loss. As these aircraft are considered toys, these injuries disproportionately affect children. Plans to operate these aircraft around population centers should be cause for great concern. Protection devices such as cages, bumpers, or collision avoidance are inadequate, as they are often heavy and break or fail in use. Common sensors for detecting proximity to the rotor are heavy and often have blind spots or short range. Methods to stop a rotor before causing injury, such as braking or jamming, are heavy and freewheeling is too slow. Instead, we propose a different method that reuses many of the existing structures of the drive system. Our approach uses a rotating plastic hoop driven by friction on the rotor shaft. Drag causes the hoop to spin more slowly than the rotor, but fast enough to rapidly sweep out a detection zone. The speed of the hoop is measured by an optical sensor. When touched, the speed of the hoop will drop suddenly and the microcontroller driving the motor can detect this and apply braking. We employ electrodynamic braking to halt the rotor. In powered flight, applied voltage causes positive current flow that drives the motor to overcome drag and turn the rotor. When the power is disconnected, the circuit is open and only aerodynamic drag is applied. However, if the motor is short-circuited, the back EMF of the motor applies a negative current that drives the motor in reverse. The faster the motor spins, the more energy is available to stop it. Together, these systems are very light and cheap, adding only 20 grams of weight and $15 of cost per quad rotor. The rotor can be brought from full speed to stop in 0 0.06 of a second. There is only a small reduction in the endurance of the system and can be easily retrofitted into existing aircraft. Most of the required mechanical parts and electronics already exist in most systems. So how well does it work? Well, come by our poster and find out.